Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So um, I am Lynn Huber, and I want to thank you for being here today. If you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so we know you were here. So today, let's talk about which is better, saving money or making more money? <laughs> you know, it's kind of a trick question, right? I mean, you know... The thing is, these days, I mean, and well, I guess a lot of days, not just these days, but people are stuck under mountains of debt or they're simply not making enough money, you know, to to make it to keep up with the cost of living. Right. And keep up with just life. And um, and, you know, from what I'm hearing on the news and stuff, it doesn't sound like it's getting any better. And so, of course, it's always um, good to be frugal. You know, it's always smart to be frugal. It's always good to have a budget. And, and stick to it and um, manage your money. Obviously, we want to manage your money, but that has its limits too. Hi, Anne-Marie. Good to see you live for the first time. Hey, thank you for being here. But, you know, let's go back. Let's go back to when, um, when I was a lot younger. <laughs> I had my daughter when I was 17. I was still in high school. And um, that's a whole nother story. I'm not going to go into that. But, but you know, um, I struggled. I struggled hard. I worked in an office. I mean, well, I was on welfare for a little while. And then in order to get off of welfare, like, I had to work two jobs. I mean, there was just no other way around it. I just couldn't make enough money for daycare and all of the other stuff. I had to work two jobs. So I worked in an office most of the time. And then um, I worked in like different jobs. I mean, there was one I worked for Braille's press clipping service, you know, for four hours every night. The thing was with them though, is that they didn't, you had to be there Monday through Friday for four hours every night. I mean, it was a set schedule and, and on top of my job, that was just too much, you know? And, um, but that's the thing I realized, I realized I didn't have the button on my, he awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. The button on your tee. Anyway, um, so so I had to, um, you know, I, that one was a struggle. I mean, you're working eight hours a day and you have a small baby and then you're working another four hours every night. That was hard. And so I did that for like six months. But then I ended up working at places like McDonald's because at least it was a little bit more flexible, right? But working all those hours, it just doesn't work very well. I mean, you're still not making money. Even if you're making $10 an hour, 20 hours a week, I mean, that's, that's what, $200 a week. You're still not making enough, really, um, to make a big – well, it, actually, it would make a big difference, I guess, $200 a week. But but you're working a lot of hours, and, and it's hard, you know. And you, you can only – and if you're working a budget, you can only trim so much because you're only going to um, – you know, you still have to have living expenses. You still have to have rent. You still have to have food. You have to have all that stuff. So what I learned, though, even though I did it the hard way and I worked in a job and um, – started and, and and that's how I did it. I scrapped and I worked my way up to a higher paying job. But but then when I started selling Avon, it was a whole different thing for me. I mean, I didn't need the money then. I was working as director of marketing for a food service distributor. Um, I was making pretty good money and Richard was making pretty good money. So I didn't need the money then. But when I did start selling Avon, it was amazing to me. This light went on and it's like, you know, maybe what you, I mean, for people who are struggling, maybe not what you need is a job, a second job. Maybe what you need is a side gig. I mean, because, you know, if you look at a job, I mean, like if you're working, if you're looking at a job and, and you're making a thousand dollars a month that you're not going to probably even, I mean, that's nothing, right? You're a thousand dollars a month. That's what I'm getting paid for my job. But if you have a side gig, that's paying you a thousand dollars a month, on top of what you're already doing, it is amazing what that can do for you. I mean, with Richard and I, we started paying off our bills. I mean, we didn't, it wasn't even something on our consciousness. It wasn't even, we thought we were doing great. We didn't think we needed to pay off our bills. We were making the minimum payments every month. And, and we thought that that was all we needed. But, you know, as, as I started building my Avon business and I had more money, at my disposal, I started putting it towards my credit card debt. And then we started putting it towards our cars. And then we started putting it towards our house. And, you know, we ended up debt free. And, and that's what the side gig did for us. Yeah, we were working a lot of hours in our day job. So we didn't have a lot of time to give to our Avon business. 
But seriously, if you can commit to 15 hours, 10, 15 hours a week and and give it a solid 10 or 15 hours where you're seriously working it, it can be on your schedule. It could be your own time. And it doesn't even have to be Avon. It could be whatever. There's a million companies out there that you could get a side gig with. But the, po the point is, if you're just being focused for 10 to 15 hours a week, you can make money. You can make, make way more than you could in a part-time job working at McDonald's, trust me. And... Um, and it can just free you, right? It's just amazing because, you know, I, most people these days are $500 to $1,000 away from financial disaster. Most people don't have savings. And, you know, and so that's where that's where we're struggling with. It's like, well, I, want, I would like to put more money into savings, but I just don't have it to put in there. And so it just it just makes all that difference right and so you know jim rome talks about that he says he says i love how he says that he says i'm working part-time on my job and full-time on i'm sorry i'm working full-time on my job and part-time on my profits and um <laughs> and it's so true right you're working full-time on your job that pays your bills that that pretty much covers your your basic necessities on your job and then part-time on your fortune because the, the difference between profits and wages is wages is you can you make so much you make so much an hour if you have a job you make so much an hour or if your salary you make so much a month and you can't make more than that unless you work more hours right but profits when you're selling something and you're having profits, you can, this guy's the limit, especially with the internet. I mean, you promote your business, you you work to promote your business, and especially on online, you can work your business all over the country. Um, with Avon, uh, you know, with Avon, you, you, your order, your customers come to your website, they place an order, Avon, they pay Avon, Avon delivers to the customer, they ship it, and they direct deposit your earnings two days later. So you don't have all that heavy, busy work of delivering and taking orders and doing all of that. And so you can make a lot more money in profit in the same amount of time than you can in wages. So what Jim Rohn says, he says, I work full-time on my business, and I'm sorry, I work full-time on my job and part-time on my fortune. He says, and then my fortune started coming up and I was making more money on my side gig than I was on my job. And before long, I was making more on my part-time fortune than I was on my job. And he goes, and it was hard for me to quit my job because I didn't want to give up that story. I didn't want to give up that story that I'm working full-time on my job and part-time on my fortune. But then he started making three times as much at his side gig and he had to give up his job, right? I mean, it's crazy to keep it. So that 500 or 1,000 or, or more, whatever you can, you can build in, in profits, you know, on top of your regular income can make all the difference. You know, I mean, now you're in a position where you can pay off your bills. You can start a savings program. You can even take a family vacation every year if you choose. And if that's all you want to do, that's totally fine. You can totally just do that and have a side mm -hmm. gig and it can be fun. And a lot of times you can even like with Avon, you can even do it alongside your job. doesn't even interfere, but, you know, if you're careful. I mean, obviously you don't want to get in trouble, but you can share brochures with people you work with and things like that. So it doesn't even take a lot of extra time. But, but you can just do that and not make a whole lot of changes to your lifestyle. And then if you keep it up and if you continue to work your business, you might find yourself being able to let go of your day job and just work Avon on your own schedule. I mean, you know, that's what happened to me and Richard. It took, um, well, two, well, a year before I started, before I saw the opportunity. And then two years after that, I quit my job. And then two years after that, Richard was able to retire from his job. So it was basically five years. And, um, you know, now we have the freedom. Now we, you know, when you don't have any bills, when you don't have a house payment or car payment or credit card debt, you, it's amazing how little money you really need to live. I mean, all I really have is I have food and utilities, my um, cell phone bill, um, and, my, and what I, what I want to spend money on, you know. And so it's amazing. You just don't need that much to live off of, and you can just live your life the way you want. And I can travel. I can do whatever I want. And when I want to leave town, I just draw a line through my calendar, and I know that I'm, I need to schedule my business around that time. And it's pretty freeing, right? So, you know, you got to – it's 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 really up to you. I mean, you can get a second job. You can um, You can get a side gig. Um, Avon is an amazing side gig, but there's other companies out there. I mean, you know, you've got, I don't know, I, I work with people all the time from Sensi, Paparazzi, um, Color Street. There's lots of businesses out there. So if you're going to look, um, you know, find a good one 
and find a good person to mentor you. If you uh, want to join my team, I would love to have you. You can sign up for, with me at workwithlynn.com. And I'm here to mentor you. I'm here to help you be successful. I'm here to help you build your business online if that's what you want to do. Or um, first face to face. So Anne Marie, yeah, you're absolutely right. Two to five year plan versus a 40 to 50 year work plan. Absolutely. Because most people can retire in, in about five years, two to five years. I mean, it depends on how much effort you put into it. it. Everything is about how much effort you put into it. There's no guarantees about anything, right? If you have your own business, it's on you. But um, um, one more thing really quick. One of my friends, uh, one of her favorite things is um, that she says is, um, you know, most people, um, <clears throat> gosh, my phone is ringing. I'm sorry. Most people overestimate what they can accomplish in one year, but underestimate what they can do in five years. And so it's so true. You start a business and a year from now, you're not making as much as you think you should and you, and they quit. And this is not the time to quit. You're building the foundation. You're building the roots of your business. And that's not the time to quit. But but in five years, you're not going to recognize your business. You're not even going to – it's just not – it's not even something that you can comprehend because five years from now, you're going to have superstars in your business that you haven't even met yet. You're, things are going to change in your business. Things are going to be totally different. And if you are working it in five years, your business is going to be flourishing. So – I think that's pretty cool, you know, that you, most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in five. But I've kind of gone on, and I'm sorry, I kind of went around in circles here. But thank you guys for being here. And get down below and tell me what your thoughts are. You know, which is better, savings or um, making more money? You know, managing your money or making more money? Which one's better and why? What, what do you think about that? Because, um, you know, it is kind of a trick question. Both are important, really. But anyway, thank you, Anne-Marie, for being here with me today live. And I will see you guys all. I won't be here tomorrow. I will be at a breast cancer event, but I'll see you day after tomorrow. Have a great day.